Senators moved here and became the Rangers, we moved with them. There we go, and your husband passed away this past December, and you guys are keeping on the tradition along with your granddaughter, Jennifer, and also John and Tom, you're going to recognize Sister Frances right here, of course, with the drum. Let's hear it, Sister. All season long, she's been coming to season openers since 1972. Go ahead, hit the drum, Sister. Come on, don't be bashful. They're going to love her all season long right here. Thank you, Sister. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. And Sister Francis is trying to get Sister Maggie to stand up and help her. You know, <laughs> Sister Francis and Sister Maggie are such great fans. They're sitting there listening to the game, so they couldn't hear Noxie. You know, look at she's got her headphones. How about earbuds? Sister Francis with earbuds. That is awesome. She likes listening to Eric. It doesn't want to be interrupted during the ball game. Doesn't want to miss anything. And in the great tradition of Zonk, she has the drum here at the game. I sat next to both sisters in Yankee Stadium way back when the Rangers were in the playoffs. And we were sitting in a group of maybe 150 Ranger fans. Yankee fans were pretty good, but there was a few off-color remarks tossed our way. And they both handled it very well. Yeah, and, you know, they, they wear their Ranger gear, not anything that would let you know that they are, they are nuns. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I could see where a Yankee fan might not realize who... They were hurling epitaphs toward. Boy, what a sinker right there. Wow. Yes. Ortiz is down on strikes. And C.J. Wilson is rolling along. Now, since C.J. gave up the two-run single to Adrian Gonzalez, he's retired everybody but Ellsbury, who got a base hit in the fifth inning. And he's had three strikeouts, and he has had some kind of sinker.